Hello everyone, and today I will be presenting my analysis on the poem Barbie Doll by Marge Piercy using the feminist stylistic approach, right? So as you can see before you, that these are the bits of the poem. This is the first stanza. This is the second stanza. This is the third stanza. This is the fourth stanza. So I already do know the poem by heart. So this is why I will not be including any bits and pieces of the stanza into the further analysis. You may pause the video later in the future if you want to read deeper into the poem to actually analyze it by yourself, or if you have any um, deeper in-depth understanding that you want from the poem, you may read the poem yourself and analyze it, right? So what is feminist stylistics is the most important thing because we're going to be analyzing the poem with this approach. So basically feminist stylistics is a sub branch of stylistics which aims to account for the way in which gender concerns are linguistically encoded in text and which attempts to do so by employing some of the frameworks and models pertaining in the stylistics toolkit. Simply put, it is a approach towards style uh, towards artworks towards text through a stylistic approach that focuses more on actually and analyzing the gender concerns that are highlighted in a given text right so as in the word feminism that talks about equality of gender the texts are analyzed in a certain frame as well which is concerned with the gender problems and the equality problems inside that gender, right? So today's poem, Barbie Doll, deals with two things. Firstly, the expectations of women and beauty. Secondly, beauty standards in society and how it then pressurizes women in society, right? So it's very, very interesting and very unique to go into, in my opinion. So the structure is a, the poem is a four stanza narrative poem. This separated into four stanzas of varying length, right? So there's not really a cohesive rhyme scheme, but you can allow some questions so you can understand it without having cursive rhyme scheme, right? It's written in free verse, meaning that there's no specific A, B, A, B, A, C, B, D, A, C, stuff like that. It's free verse. What is important is the cohesion and the understanding behind it, right? So the literary devices used in it, well, there's imagery, right? So the imagery used is mostly about the dolls, the Barbie dolls, as it is used to show that girls played with these dolls and gave them an idea of what they should look like. Alliteration is also used, for instance, candy and classmate, pink and pretty, right? So things that are matching towards one another, things that are most likely will have a meaning when collocated with one another. So in Barbie doll, the theme is based on women's rights and perception. So women's rights, the freedom to be whatever they want to be, to choose to be whatever they want to be, and their perception of beauty, basically. As you can see in the poem, this cut of her nose and her legs offered them up. So for the price of the perception of beauty, the woman is willing to give up her rights. That's one of the main themes that underlaps this entire poem. So in the first stanza, basically, it talks about the beginning of a girl's life. We start with girl child, born, right? And the kid growing up, girl growing up with the toys that she was given. And these toys shape her perception of what beauty looks like, right? And then the second stanza is these toys, familiarly gendered to her sex, are meant to train this child in how to be a woman and a mother. So you have to follow what this doll looks like. And that is the perfect, image of what you should be like in the future right the the doll being able to play you use as a play in cooking right or pretend to change a baby's diaper right that's what a barbie doll normally uses normally does so it's used to shape the perception of what a woman should be in the future and this actually leads to the values that they have of oh a woman should be the one cooking in the kitchen should be the one looking after a child and this is actually where it hinges on women's rights of how a Barbie doll most likely would not fit into what a career woman's life would actually look like, right? So that kind of idea through feminist stylistics and how it opposes the current idea of freedom and rights is where you can actually analyze and where I have analyzed this poem, right? So basically, as you can see, continuously, it talks about how Barbie dolls are given makeup and makeup makes them pretty and stuff like that. So it actually feeds into the perception of beauty of the child. In the third stanza, right, 
it is also talking about how a Barbie doll is advised to act. Be coy, hearty, exercise, diet, smile, and wheedle, right? So it's basically telling you, this is what you should do. You can't be other than this. If you are other than this, then you fail as a woman. You do not fit the standard of women, right? And this is where the poem maker actually made a poem in a sense of trying to say that, look, we're too dictated by the things around us and society standards, right? And in the end, she gives up. The woman cuts off her limbs, as seen in the poem, which is a very, very devastating end. In the fourth stanza, it begins with a funeral. The woman has died. There's a casket, lay sitting on satin, right? The undertaker stays tight, fix up her face. So she dies with the look that she wants, but it all ends in misery. It all ends in sadness. It is a force for the woman to end up like that because of the standard that has been burdened upon her, right? And additionally, she's been dressed beautifully. She looks beautiful. She's very beautiful. She meets that happy ending, but in an empty kind of way, right? And then you can see the conclusion to the end of the poem. And so that's it. It is a very interesting poem talking about beauty stands and women's rights. I hope this analysis helped you as much as it helped me. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone.